cast adrift in the Indian Ocean is the ultimate lost world. Where life has evolved in weird and wonderful ways. Over 70% of its animals and plants exist nowhere else on Earth. One creature has captured the imagination of all who have glimpsed it. A ghostly spirit that dances through the treetops. There is a tropical forest in a distant land where the line between myth and reality is blurred. Its thick canopy hides an animal known to the local tribes as Babakoto, which means father. Local legend tells the story of a young boy who ventured into the jungle to search for his missing father. He looked everywhere. But he too became lost in this curious world and disappeared. Neither father nor son were seen again. But two human-like shapes haunted the trees. The islanders believe that the boy and his father were transformed into Babakoto, lemurs, otherwise known as Indri. And every morning, according to legend, father and son continue to call to each other. This magical story hints at the special relationship between humans and this most enchanting Lima. Looking into the eyes of the Indri is like coming face to face with family. And there is a very good reason for this. Lemurs are primates distantly related to the same primitive ancestor that gave rise to the monkeys, apes, and ultimately to humans. Lemurs, such as the endearing Indries, are of very distant relatives. They live in just one country on Earth, an isolated island that lies 400 kilometers off the southeast coast of Africa, Madagascar. 1,600 kilometers long and over 500 kilometers wide, Madagascar is almost as big as France. It's the world's fourth largest island. It's a land of extremes, from high mountain ranges to parched deserts and lush rainforests. Indri once ranged more widely in Madagascar, but now they live in just 10 protected forests. One of which is known as Mantadia, isolated in the far northeast of the island.
This is a natural paradise. A World Heritage Site because it is one of the world's most diverse rainforests. Mantadia National Park is home to around 100 bird species, 51 reptiles, and 84 amphibians, almost all of which are found only in Madagascar. Not to mention countless bizarre insects. This forest is a place of water. Heavy tropical rains fall almost every day, flowing into turbulent rivers. Mantadia's warm temperatures, averaging 20 degrees centigrade, maintain a moist, humid climate. Perfect for the growth of hundreds of mosses, ferns, and climbing lianas. As well as an incredible diversity of towering rainforest trees, creating a thick, leafy canopy. which is home to Mantadia's collection of 11 rare primates, including the brown lemur and the black and white ruffed. But most charismatic of all are its injuries. No one knows exactly how many injuries exist in Madagascar, as they often inhabit remote forests. The island's total population is estimated to be anything from 10,000 to just 1,000. Indries are one of the world's most endangered primates. But because they have been studied in Mantadia, we do know a lot about their lives here. The course of one day in their forest home brings many adventures and challenges for an Indri's family. strong Indri family have spent the night sleeping 30 meters up in the canopy. Creatures of habit, they are surprisingly late risers who only begin to stir around 9 o'clock. Indris live in close-knit family groups, headed up by a dominant female. Unlike other primates, in many lemur species, females are in charge, taking responsibility for the fortunes of their family. At around 14 years old, she is already mother to a pair of juvenile sons. And there is a new face in her family, a daughter just four months old. Taking charge of a toddler and the adolescence is a handful, but she has the support of a devoted male. Indries are monogamous animals, mating for life. This couple has reached a critical stage in the life of their family. One of their sons will soon become independent, whilst their daughter is in the vulnerable first few months of her childhood. Mm -hmm. 
every day brings tough new challenges. How to find enough food for a growing family, defend their territory, and keep safe from predators. Injuries, in common with all lemurs, have a long history of survival against the odds. Madagascar is the oldest island on Earth. Its story began around 90 million years ago, as the supercontinent of Gondwana broke up into the continents as we know them today. As India split from Africa, a giant chip of land drifted far out to sea. Madagascar was born. Around 65 million years later, new life found its way to this lost world. Against all odds, a few castaways accidentally washed up on its shores. Including primitive primates from Africa. On a virtually uninhabited island, these early ancestors evolved ultimately giving rise to over 100 species of lemur that live on the island today. Lemurs have adapted to life in Madagascar's varied landscapes. In the far north of the island is Ankarana, a natural fortress of stone. Here, Crowned lemurs tiptoe on razor-sharp limestone spikes known as tsingi. In the cool highlands of central Madagascar lives the most social lemur, the charismatic ringtails. Living in large family troops, they are the island's most adaptable species, able to tolerate extreme heat or cold. And most widespread of all is Madagascar's strangest lemur, the nocturnal eye eye. This weird looking creature carves out an existence using its elongated middle finger to extract the flesh of its food, including insect grubs and even coconuts. The eye eye is the most ancient lemur species, the closest living relative of those original primate castaways. In some parts of its range, it crosses paths with injuries, such as in the rainforests of Mantadia. Today, like every day, the most pressing problem for the dominant female is finding enough food for her family to eat. Indries eat leaves, lots and lots of leaves. They spend half their waking lives eating, up to eight hours every day, because the nutritional value of their diet is so poor. Compared to most lemurs, Indries are heavy, weighing up to 10 kilos, roughly the same as a human toddler. The only way to maintain this bulk is to munch a kilo and a half of vegetation per day. Naturally, the dominant female gets the first pick of leaves. Her long-standing partner is actually at the bottom of the family pecking order. Females can be aggressive if disturbed, so he keeps his distance while she's feeding. Female dominance has evolved in Lima society for a very good reason. Mothers take the best quality food, 
because they bear the burden of childcare. Producing enough milk for a growing baby requires extra energy, so the female must eat enough for two. The families synchronize everything they do. Soon the female's ready to move on to a new feeding patch. With her baby on board, mum leads the way, followed by her sons, with dad bringing up the rear. The families share their forest home with a variety of animals, each busy with the new day. Mantadir is home to colorful chameleons endemic to Madagascar, including one of the world's largest, Parsons chameleon. Unlike most lizards that live on the forest floor, chameleons are adapted for life in the trees. They have strong, grasping feet and a prehensile tail that can grip branches. So even this giant can climb. A smaller, short-horned chameleon is out hunting too. The daily dramas of Mantadir's cold-blooded creatures take place quietly, unlike those of its noisy resident lemurs. Even louder than the Indries are the black and white ruft. It may sound like all-out war, but it's just a morning wake-up call. Lemurs have poor vision, so they communicate vocally and with smell instead. Ruffed lemurs call frequently to keep in contact and warn of danger. They may be noisy neighbors, but there is little conflict between Mantadir's resident lemurs. The ruffed are fruit and nectar eaters, so they rarely compete with injuries for food. Indries follow a daily path of around 800 meters on a circuit between feeding trees. Each day, the dominant female varies their route so they can exploit new areas. The family favorite on the forest menu are tender young leaves, making up over 70% of their diet. These grow best high in the canopy where the female feeds. Less palatable are tough, old leaves. Unfortunately for the low-ranking father, this is often all he can find. Because the female doesn't allow him into the higher branches. But she does grant access to top quality food to her offspring. Their welfare is her ultimate goal. And her growing sons are always hungry. So the family pack it in. Of all Madagascar's lemurs, Indries are the most arboreal, rarely visiting the forest floor. 
They are perfectly adapted to life in the canopy and are accomplished leapers with strong muscular legs that are designed for power. Giant leaps of 10 meters or more seem effortless. As they prepare for the jump, Indries hold their body upright. Their yellow eyes point forward, enabling them to judge distance precisely. Indries have specially fused fingers and toes, giving them a powerful grip, vital for avoiding fatal falls. It takes young lemurs a year to master the art of leaping. In particular, learning how to calculate the most efficient route between the trees. Indries are part of a family of large lemurs. One of the most beautiful is the cockerel sifaka. Like the Indries, they live in small family groups, but they make their home in the deciduous forests of western Madagascar. Unlike the rainforest where leaves are always available, here they fall seasonally and the safakas must search widely for food. Like the Indries, they are expert leapers. They too can suspend themselves from high branches. And they have long tails that give them extra balance. They share their athletic build with other members of the Indries family. The Vero Safako also lives here, as well as surviving in Madagascar's rainforests and deserts. It owes its adaptability to its varied diet. Like all members of the Indries family, Vero Safakas spend most of their lives in the canopy. On the rare occasions they visit the forest floor, they use both legs to hop sideways. But high in the trees, they are elegance itself. All Madagascar's lemurs have long tails, except for Indri's. The Indri's tail has shrunk to just five centimeters, so it's barely visible. It remains a mystery why this lemur alone has lost the long tail, critical for balance in all other species. Like all primates, one of the Indri's other defining features is its opposable thumb and fingers, creating a vice-like grip. It is this, combined with their large size, long legs and upright sitting position, that gives them an almost human-looking shape in the trees. No wonder the local myths depict man and Indris as one. But it's not just their looks. Indri family life also mirrors our own. Like us, both parents devote much of their lives to raising their offspring. 
The dominant female and her mate form their lifelong partnership when they reach sexual maturity at around eight years old. Her boys may look like twins, but they are different ages. The eldest, around six years old, and his younger brother, about three. They've each enjoyed their mother's undivided attention as babies, but now it's their little sister's turn. The youngsters rely on their mother to lead them and their father to defend the family home. After a busy morning, the family takes a short break. Leaves aren't easy to digest. Whilst they relax, their bodies are working overtime, fermenting the leaves to absorb the nutrients. This is a good opportunity for a grooming session. Indries groom using a specialized tooth comb. Four teeth that are fused together. Even babies groom. It's a social skill used to gain favors for a suckle or to hitch a lift from mum. But this peaceful scene doesn't last for long. The juvenile males soon get bored. Troublesome teenagers are never relaxing company. They wind down by winding each other up. Their mother may wish to escape, but she can't get any peace. Her daughter wants to play too. and mum doubles up as a perfect climbing frame. The youngster has barely ventured away from the safety of her mother's belly, but now, four months old, it's vital she learns how to climb. Her mother's ever watchful. It's risky learning to leap by trial and error in the thick canopy 30 meters up. 50% of Lima infants die in their first two years of life, many from accidental falls. Madagascar has few venomous snakes, but this tree boa uses other methods to make a kill. hunting both night and day. It detects warm-blooded prey using heat-sensitive pits on its snout. Females grow over two meters long. Her muscular body is designed for suffocating her victim before swallowing it whole. A tree boa will eat anything from lizards to bats, even small lemurs. But baby injuries are not on its menu. Youngsters are far too active to ambush and their mothers are ever vigilant.
Born and raised in Mantadir, the dominant female has a complex understanding of life in this forest. She has explored every level of her territory and can identify around 76 edible plants amongst hundreds of species. Despite this, lemurs are not known for their intelligence. But they are inquisitive animals, and what little brain power they have, they put to good use. It's now time for the female to pass her knowledge on to her daughter. In two months' time, the baby will be weaned, so she's starting to experiment with solid food. Her mother teaches by example, carrying her around the forest, showing her which plants are edible. All the infant needs to do to learn how to find the perfect balanced diet is to reach out and grab a sample of everything her mother eats. At three years old, her older brother is now an expert forager, but still doesn't venture far from his mum. The eldest, now six years old, is much more independent. But he won't be sexually mature for another two years. So for now, the brothers can still indulge in some rough and tumble. But as with all oversized kids, it will soon be time to grow up. Our family, living in Mantadir, has the largest home range of Madagascar's Indri. Even so, its territory only extends to around a quarter of a square kilometer, just big enough to provide around 76 different types of leaves they need to power their energetic lifestyle. In this rich forest, with so many native plant species to choose from, it will be around two weeks before our family returns to feed at the same spot. So the trees have time to re-sprout. The roughed lemurs' family home range is four times bigger than that of the Indries. They travel further in search of the fruits that make up 80% of their diet. and eat a greater range of Mantadir's plants, over 130 different species. Fruit and nectar is a richer source of food, so they spend less time feeding, just a quarter of their day. Compared to Indri's, rough lemurs are less active, spending half their time asleep. But come the afternoon, even the Indries are ready for a snooze. During the hottest months, daytime temperatures hit 30 degrees centigrade. Many of the forest inhabitants spend the day resting. Like this perfectly camouflaged Europlatus lizard. The humid air is thick with biting insects, which Indries try to avoid by sitting low in the canopy. During the warm, wet season, Indries are less active 
and spend more time relaxing. Until late afternoon, when like clockwork, the Indri's alarm goes off. The song is initiated by the adult male with a long, low roar. Each Indri's family has its own unique song. Their ghostly songs are high-pitched, so they penetrate the thick canopy and echo over a kilometer away. The main function of the Indri's song is territorial. Male injuries bear key responsibility for defending the family home. And today, the juveniles are joining in with their father. Mantadir extends to just over 150 square kilometers, so there is tough competition for space. Neighboring families each have growing youngsters who will ultimately compete for a home of their own. To defend their patch, male injuries patrol and scent mark along their territorial boundary, warning potential intruders to keep out. The adult male also continues to call to advertise his family's ownership. Neighboring families keep in contact this way, responding with a chorus. Indries are the gentle giants of the lemur world. Some other lemur species engage in aggressive fights with their neighbors. But the peaceful Indries avoid this thanks largely to the territorial calling of the males. But in the family's urgency to patrol its boundary, someone's been left behind. The lost infant is vulnerable. Half dog, half cat in appearance, the fossa is the largest land carnivore in Madagascar. Semi-retractable claws and reversible ankle joints enable it to scale the trees, vital as 50% of the fossa's diet consists of lemurs. The injuries sound the alarm. The baby's back in its mother's embrace in no time. The greatest threat to injuries isn't their natural predators. Sadly, rainforest habitat, the vital living space for this endangered creature, is fast running out.
Indri once inhabited a vast tract of virgin rainforest that cloaked the eastern side of Madagascar. But the trees have been cut down for use as tropical hardwoods to make way for cash crop plantations and for subsistence agriculture. 50% of Madagascar's forests have been lost in the last 60 years. Indri's numbers are declining fast and they are considered critically endangered. And it's not just Indri's. Madagascar's lemurs are considered among the most threatened primates on the planet. This is not a new problem. Since humans first arrived on the island around 2,000 years ago, at least 17 species of lemur have gone extinct, most of which were larger than those we know today. Lemurs the size of gorillas and lion-like fosses once roamed the island's forests. Massive fossil skulls and skeletons of these long-lost beasts have been discovered across Madagascar. These giants were easy targets for human hunters and were driven to extinction. In some places, lemurs are still hunted. But with more local communities involved in conservation, this threat is decreasing. The greatest hope for Madagascar's lemurs is that their precious forests are protected. Indries will not breed in captivity, so their future depends entirely on the survival of wild populations, which makes sanctuaries like Mantadir even more precious. They have a good chance of survival, not least due to the special relationship they have with local people. Traditional legends are passed down to each new generation who respect Indries as the living spirits of their ancestors. And thanks to ecotourism, whole communities benefit from their Lima neighbors. As evening sets in, our Indri family regroups for the last meal of the day. It's leaves again. The juveniles have an insatiable appetite. They are building up their strength for the big challenges ahead, watched over by their parents. Their eldest son has two more years to prepare himself for adulthood. He will be the first to take his chances, crossing into neighboring families' territories in search of a mate and a new home. The little female will spend at least another eight years with mum and dad. She may even have to share them with a new baby. As each day passes, she gets a little more confident, leaving her mother's side for longer, exploring the canopy a little further. Ultimately, she will find a partner and lead a family of her own. But for now, she can enjoy carefree play. As the day draws to a close, the family settles down in their favorite sleeping tree, safe in the heart of Mantadir. Okay. 
Madagascar is a lost world, where castaways have made their home in magical forests. and evolved into enchanting creatures. Living in a pristine rainforest sanctuary, the future is full of promise for one family. A tight-knit group who have made a life in the treetops thanks to their devotion to each other and the beliefs of local people. Lima spirits of the forest that continue to capture our imagination. Hey, Love Nature fans. Be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.